posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby. Hey Gemini, it's Purple Haze. I'm back to shine a positive light on your dark days. Here to give y'all a general re reading. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video, all of that, okay? Thank you guys so much for those of you who have already subscribed. I appreciate it. Okay. Let's see what's up with um, Gemini. Say a prayer really quick. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. And thank you, ancestors, for all that you do and all that you will do. Every lesson is a blessing. Please continue to shine your positive light on me as well as the Gemini listening to this particular reading. Okay. Gemini. What's up, yo? Okay, we're starting off with a lot. We're starting off with a lot. Okay. Read them on now. We have Seven of Swords in reverse. Hmm. The Justice card. Okay. All right. Karma, karma, karma. The magician. Okay, so basically, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we're gonna pull one more, y'all. Okay. So basically, Gemini's, it seems as if there was someone in your life who you felt like, you know, they got away with so much. They got away with so much, and their ways were not being like truly revealed to a lot of people. You saw through their bullshit, but it seems like it took a lot more, it, it took longer for other people to realize their BS. But it seems as if this particular person's issue, who they are and everything that they've done in the past is going to finally like, they're going to get their karma. It's like justice is served. It's like, okay, you've been, this person has been causing possibly you pain and people around you, but you feel like, you know what, you know, you left it alone. It is what it is. What it is. And the minute you decided to leave it alone, it's like their, their karma just, it just got right to him, okay? The magician card. You felt like, to you, it feels like damn near a miracle because it took so long. They got away with so much, okay? The eight of swords here. They made it look like you were crazy. People made you seem as if you were the crazy one. It's like people often saw this person as the victim and saw you as the villain, but now it seems as if the truth is finally coming out and you feel relieved, okay? Now... Temperance card here in reverse and eight of cups. Okay, so basically, Gemini, you still feel like you're missing something. You still feel like things are not quite balanced with you. Things still seem kind of out of sync with you because with the eight of cups here, you still have your eye on something or someone. Okay, you have your eye on, on something or someone, most likely someone. So even though this person here had got their karma... My fault. That was an incoming call. What? From Arizona. Even though this person has gotten their karma, you still feel like something is missing because there's someone who is constantly on your mind. Like, you can't stop thinking about them. Okay? Ace of Wands in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune. Now, it seems as if you starting over, you going back and you, like, kind of rebuilding things, those stages are going to end. You're going to finally feel like you're building something and seeing results. You don't have to keep constantly starting over because that's something that you fear. You fear starting over because you feel like it's a bunch of wasting time and you, you just want to sit in your happiness. But now it seems as if you're going to finally get that balance. Right now you feel like things are out of balance. But what you're looking for is finally going to start to make sense with the Wheel of Fortune here. It's like you're going to have your aha moment. And it looks as if with the Wheel of Fortune here and the Eight of Cups here, it seems as if whoever you have your eye on this person will finally acknowledge that, acknowledge the truth and see the truth, okay, on how you feel. What else is going on with Gemini? Because y'all just coming out with a bang. Okay, page of pentacles, yep. This time you feel more confident. You are walking in your confidence now. You feel good. You feel like justice is finally served. You feel like you can finally get your way. Queen of Cups here. Okay, you got a lot of love still inside of you. You're a very caring and very nurturing person. At least that's the energy that is given in this reading. Someone is very nurturing and giving. Okay, and that their nurturing side, their confident side 
brings a whole lot of happiness. It's one person who just has darkness surrounding them. And then there's another person who's like a breath of fresh air. Okay? The devil card here. Now, it's going to feel so good. You're going to feel so happy. And this person is going to make you feel so good if they haven't already. It's like you're going to start to feel like you're addicted to them. You're obsessed with thinking about them. Like you're, they're constantly on your mind. Or it could be vice versa. There could be like a cross washer energy where this person feels this way about you. They can't stop thinking about you because you're very caring. You're very nurturing, okay? You bring a son into their life. So it's kind of like a borderline obsession. Now let's see if it's like healthy because I don't, I don't know now. Can you elaborate on this uh, double card here? Nine of Cups in Reverse. Hmm. Okay. The moon card. Wow. So now it seems as if as far as this this feeling of like feeling attached to someone or someone being attached to you, it looks as if they're gonna be humbled. I don't feel like these two people feel the same. One person wants more than the other. It has a lot to do with ego as well, too. Even though this person doesn't feel the same way. As the other person, their ego is still being stroked and they like it. Okay, so someone's ego is being stroked here. Let's see. Some type of secret may be revealed or clarification may be revealed. Okay, one more card. The work, and it's not what's, it's not what's to be expected. There is something in particular where you feel like you know the outcome already. You feel like I already know how this is going to end. But it's going to be a plot twist. It's not going to end the way that you think. There's a situation here again. Someone may be humbled. Somebody probably thought that, you know, things were just on the up and up on their side. But then it's like a plot twist. It's going to like be like the tables turning type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, if you're the person who likes to have their ego stroke, you might come across someone who it might be reversed. where well, you're going to be stroking their ego and they're going to like it. They're going to like being in control or vice versa. Maybe... You want someone that's in control and you feel like this person's just not in control. They could surprise you, okay? Hmm. Let's move on to the energy oracle cards because I don't want to ramble, Shell. Let's get more on your emotions, Gemini. It's just emotions. Man holding a coin, okay? You are about the money and bills. Someone with dominant energy is very aggressive when it comes to making money. Like, they, they're making it a major priority, they're not playing any games, okay? It could be you, Gemini, because they want to feel safe. It's about feeling safe. Someone here is not happy or they don't feel like their foundation is safe until they get their finances up. They're not sleeping. Someone is working so hard, sleepless nights, up all night, or working long hours, or extra jobs here and there. This person is in hustle mode because they feel like when they are in hustle mode, when they're getting the bag, when they get the money, that's when they feel safe. That's when they could sleep better at night. This person is not going to sleep better at night. I feel like this is you, Gemini, until their life is on track, okay? Now, let's move on to the romantic oracle cards to see how your past is affecting your now. Okay. Ooh, Gemini, that was a lot of different energies, different feelings. This is the core issue that we're starting off with. Calling in your soulmate in reverse. You often run from... The idea of soulmate. When you hear the word soulmate, sometimes it kind of makes you feel a little bit eh, because you don't want to, you don't like to, when someone calls you their soulmate or you call them their soulmate, and then all of a sudden you guys are putting your all into it just for it not to be that. So that's why you're kind of like slowing down when it comes to calling in your soulmate because you don't want to, you don't want that. You don't want something that you're not sure of, okay? You just don't feel sure about it. Some of you are probably wondering if there's a such thing as that. Hmm. Past feelings, how you felt in the past. Attraction in reverse. Now, um, in the past, you probably didn't feel like you were as attractive as you are now. Some of you have, it's like the story of like, y'all know the story of the ugly duckling. Not saying any, any of y'all is that. But y'all know how the story goes where at first nobody is paying attention to this particular duckling only for the duckling to be a beautiful swan and then all of a sudden everybody's like oh my god like mike jones is mike jones saying what is it back then they didn't want me now i'm hot they all on me that's the energy that you are giving well you gave i'm sorry in the past that's how you felt like in the in the past you did not feel as attractive as you do today now your past actions how you've acted in the past worth waiting for 
divine timing is at work in your love life. So, your actions, how you've acted in the past, you took your time with things because you felt like it was worth waiting for. That's probably why you did waste a lot of time because there were some people in your life who you've lasted with for years, even in friendships, and it was based on you feeling like it was worth it. Like, you know? Now, when it comes to universes... Oh, when it comes to the universe's advice for the present, like what's going on right now, children in reverse. So basically right now, I feel like some of you use children as an excuse. Oh, I'm doing this for the kids or I can't do this because of the kids. Like, it's kind of like that. That's like your excuse for a lot of things right now. At least that's what the universe feels like. Your present feelings and ideas, how you feel right now, letting go of control issues. You're no longer worried about stuff you can't change. You're not about to try to change anyone and instead you rather keep your distance, okay? Where the situation is headed because of that. Let your friends help you in reverse. So, you're going to be keeping your friends out of your business a lot more. Because you feel like the more people are involved in your personal life, the more like things get kind of all over the place. So many opinions can frustrate you. So, you're kind of handling things a lot more privately. You're not going to be speaking up as much on your issues because of the fact that you don't need any outside opinions to influence you to do things you don't want to do. Now, the universe's advice for the future. Release your ex, child. <laughs> it says, the time has come to clear your energy. Now, listen. The universe's advice for the future, and then you have this card, which means that you have a hard time letting people go, Gemini. You have to let people go if the energy is not matched they said clear your energy if the energy is not matching if they're not vibrating as high as you if you feel like shit is is not as real as they try to make it seem you could always remove yourself from that that's probably where all those excuses come from but it seems as if you're going to be releasing some exes releasing some people from the past because you feel like you cannot think clearly until you do that you cannot be yourself until you do that okay that's what I have for y'all, Gemini's. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. I'm in a place supreme and pure and free. Hey, I ain't worried about.